When most people think about sharks, this is the image that comes to mind. A mindless killing machine that represents a serious danger to humanity. According to many, the only good shark is a dead shark. The reality is far more complex. Because of the important ecological role that sharks play as apex predators, humans are far better off with sharks than we are without sharks, and they have a lot more reason to fear us than we do to fear them. I'm marine biologist David Schiffman, and there are four things I believe everyone needs to know about sharks. The first thing that everyone needs to know about sharks is that they are not a serious threat to human beings. While some people have died as a result of encounters with sharks, and every human death is a tragedy, it is important to keep in mind the relative risk of a shark attack. Of the over 400 known species of sharks, fewer than two dozen have ever seriously injured a human. Almost half of all shark species are smaller than the average person, and the largest shark species, the whale shark, eats only microscopic plankton. In an average year, over 650,000 Americans die from heart disease, and over 550,000 Americans die from cancer, giving me a 1 in 5 chance of dying from heart disease, or a 1 in 7 chance of dying from cancer in my lifetime. In contrast, one American a year is killed by sharks, giving me a 1 in 3.7 million chance of being killed by a shark in my lifetime. Tens of millions of Americans visit the ocean each year, and on average only one is killed by a shark. Shark senses are legendary, and they can swim much faster than we can. If they had any desire to attack people, many more would die each year. The second thing that everyone needs to know about sharks is that they are important to the health of ocean ecosystems. Without them, many ecosystems, including several that are vital to the economy, are in danger of collapsing. This has already started to happen. In a healthy North Carolina Outer Banks ecosystem, there are enough scallops for humans and marine organisms to eat. One animal that feeds on scallops is the cow nose ray. Cow nose rays are eaten by large sharks, such as the tiger shark. According to a paper in the journal Science, Outer Banks tiger shark populations have declined by 97% since 1972. As a result of having fewer predators eating them, cow nose rays have increased in population enormously. With so many more cow nose rays, there aren't enough scallops to go around anymore. A similar event took place in Tasmania, where the rock lobster fishery used to provide a great deal of food and jobs. One of the lobster's main predators is the octopus. Which are in turn eaten by sharks. A decline in shark populations has led to an increase in octopus populations. And now there aren't enough lobster to support a fishery. A more complex ecosystem interaction occurs on coral reefs which provide a home for thousands of unique animal species and provide jobs for the ecotourism industry. The corals themselves need sunlight to live, and a major threat they are facing comes from algae growing out of control and smothering them. This algae is eaten by parrotfish, which are eaten by grouper, which are eaten by sharks. Fewer sharks has led to more grouper on reefs, which has led to fewer parrotfish, which is one of the reasons why algae is taking over many coral reefs worldwide. Now you know that sharks aren't a threat to people, and that sharks are very important to marine ecosystems, but that's not all that you need to know. The third thing about sharks that everyone needs to know is that sharks are in deep trouble. Sharks have been swimming in our planet's oceans for over 400 million years, and were already an ancient group of animals when the first dinosaurs walked on land. 
they have never before faced a threat like they do now. A recent report by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature's Shark Specialist Group stated that fully one-third of open ocean shark species are threatened with extinction. Many more species are in very bad shape. Most of these population declines have happened in the last few decades. How could this happen? How could a group of animals that have been around for hundreds of millions of years and have survived every great mass extinction event Earth has ever had be reduced to the brink of extinction in half a century? The biggest threat that sharks have ever faced comes from us and our modern industrial fishing practices. One major threat sharks face comes from bycatch, which is when fishermen attempt to catch one species and unintentionally catch another species that happens to be swimming near their target. Because of the high rate of shark bycatch in many commercial fisheries, such as the dolphin safe tuna purse stain fishery, the shrimp trawl fishery, and the swordfish longline fishery, tens of millions of sharks each year are killed for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. The biggest threat sharks face, however, doesn't come from being captured by fishermen accidentally. The biggest threat sharks face comes from the shark fin fishery. Sharks of any species and size are caught and hauled on board ships where their fins are cut off. The rest of the shark, more than 95% of the weight of the animal, isn't worth as much as the fin, so it is dumped overboard to bleed to death or drown. Most of this happens in international waters where there is little or no monitoring, but the best scientific estimate we have is that shark finning results in the deaths of up to 73 million sharks a year. Sharks mature slowly and have few young, which makes them particularly vulnerable to overfishing. Because they are so high on the food chain, there aren't that many of them relatively in the first place. The shark's fins are made into shark fin soup, an Asian delicacy. The shark fin is mostly cartilage and has no meat, and therefore no flavor. Shark fin soup would taste exactly the same with no shark fins in it. In addition, there is always the risk of mercury poisoning when eating animals so high up the food chain. When you add all of this up, the shark finning fishery easily earns its reputation as one of the most inhumane, wasteful, and unsustainable fisheries in the history of the world. What if you could see how shark fin soup is made? If you could see how each year up to 70 million sharks are killed to end up in soup, could you still eat it? A third of all shark species are nearly extinct, but we can help save them. Remember, when the buying stops, the killing can too. The fourth thing that everyone needs to know about sharks is that you can help them. The most important thing you can do to help sharks, you are doing right now. I believe that sharks are in trouble not because nobody cares, but because nobody knows that they are important and nobody knows what is happening to them. By learning about sharks, you are helping them. You can help them even more by telling your friends and family, coworkers or classmates what you've learned. You can also help sharks by helping to increase the economic value of keeping them around. Visit your local aquarium. Go scuba diving. Eat Marine Stewardship Council certified sustainable seafood, which has a much lower bycatch rate than other fisheries. If you want to learn even more about sharks, their importance, the threats they face, and how you can help them, check out the marine biology blog southernfriedscience.com, where I write as Why Sharks Matter. We feature shark conservation science and news, interviews, and multimedia resources. We have one of the most active and lively groups of readers of any science blog on the internet. Please stop by and leave us a comment. We're always happy to hear from our readers. If you are an educator, I have created a lesson plan that goes along with this video. I'm happy to send it to you. Just contact me at whysharksmatter at gmail.com with the subject shark lesson plan. Let's review. Sharks are not a major threat to humans. The average American has a 1 in 3.7 million chance of being killed by a shark. Sharks are important to ocean ecosystems, and without them, many economically important food chains have started to unravel. 
Many shark species are in danger of extinction. You can help by spreading the word about sharks. Thanks to all the amazing photographers and musicians who allowed me to use their work in the making of this video. And thank you for watching.